What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox smashing in the house with My Hero Academia episode 1 of season 4. My hero is back. Oh, I'm happy. But in my, my hero fashion, it's a filler episode. But actually, you know what? Most of the time I usually don't enjoy uh, filler episodes from like anime, but my hero's fillers are usually pretty good and this one is no exception. It's really good. Um, we get introduced to an invest... Uh, not an investigator, uh, um, a journalist or whatever, and his name is Tano uh, Takuda, and he he is pretty, and he's pretty much like his whole deal is he wants to find out who is the next successor to All Might. Obviously, as the audience, we know it's Shiboy Izuku Midoriya, but the rest of the world inside of the universe of My Hero, besides a uh, select few, know who the success, successor actually is, and that's and that's how we kick off. And actually. Um, if you haven't seen My Hero Academia uh, Two Heroes, um, well, I mean you don't have to go see it; just watch the episode. But we do get like a little bit of a reference to it uh, in this in this episode, which is pretty nice. I liked it actually. But yeah, so you know, we get introduced to Tano. He is um, he is a journalist. Uh, everyone right now is this is right off right after the fight with uh, All Might and All for One and all that. So they're everyone's trying to figure out what's the, what's gonna be the next big scoop. Uh, some of the journalists in where Tano works at are coming up with ideas, but they're they're not the chief and editor. Uh, she's not having it. She's like, nope, none of these are good. And Tano's like, look, if you get me into UA, I can I can I have a I have a hunch on who the next successor might be. And the funny thing is, the one thing I love about my hero is the world building in here because you know we actually have people who live in here it's not just hero villains and innocent bystanders no you have the heroes you have the villains you have the police and i don't read uh, my hero uh academia vigilantes so i'm gonna i'm gonna pick it up at some point but you want the world uh building gets more expanded in that manga because everything in Vi vigilantes is canon so when I mean, canon just means that it's that what, whatever happens in there is actually a part of the main story narrative this is what it means i if for some of y'all y'all might have known that but just in case you didn't that's what canon usually means so yeah and i love that we actually have uh people other people who do other professions uh cooks in this case journalists and tano isn't oblivious he's actually quite astute and he actually has a brain which i mean if you put two and two together most people pr could probably figure out who All Might's successor is, I mean, it's really not that hard if you do some real investigating and journalism work and all that. So, you know, Tano, he gets a press pass for the school because they, because UA has obviously tightened down security uh, because they've now been attacked uh, twice <laughs> by villains and all that. So they, they really should let nobody in. But he gets a pass. They pull strings. He gets a pass to talk to all the students of 1A. And he just tells them, like, look, I'm just here to uh, pretty much document uh, your lives here in the dorms, how you're acclimating and all that. So just act normal and all that. And then as he, as they're doing their normal stuff, you know, we're seeing uh, our favorite characters again you know momo uh ochako uh Tok uh tokoyami uh to uh, todoroki you know all of them and, you know just taking little snapshots it's cute it's nice i like seeing all of my all the uh, heroes again but also we're getting a quick a very very quick rundown of each uh student's powers and like uh tano only maybe says like one or two sentences max about everyone's uh, uh quirks and all that and it's weird because um I mean, I don't mind it, like, you know, I mean, like, if you are a really avid reader or you actually pay attention to the characters and all that, I don't think you really need a, a you know, a refresher on what their quirks are, but I mean, if you don't, if, if only you, if you only watch the anime and then after the season is done, that that's it, then okay, that's fine, but, you know, for me, and personally, I don't need a refresher, I mean, I, and plus, I'm caught up with the manga and all that, so, but yeah, he, we go over all the quirks and everything, and then, as Tano is, you know, going through the list of students, he he's already narrowed down six potential candidates of who uh, All Might's successor might be, and he's and he's he's figured out it might be the top six from the UA um, uh, tournament and all that, the sports festival, my fault, and all that. So he narrows them down. He's like Bakugo. He's like no. He's like Bakugo uh, wants to surpass All Might, so I can't really see him wanting to, you know, be his successor. And then you have Todoroki. He's like, no, he's like the whole thing with his dad being Endeavor and all that. He said, I don't see, you're gonna really see it. And then he just, 
I don't think we really get too much of an exposition on why uh, Tenya or Tokoyami might not be the uh, successor and all that. But then he's like, then oh, while all that's going down, he sees Izuku outside, you know, practicing like he does. He's trying to get better with uh, One For All and everything. No. Yeah, One For All, my fault. I, I always get All For One and One For All crossed. It, it, it works. It's crazy. But... So he sees him and he goes out and he, you know they talk and everything, uh, and they and they're both fanboys of All Might and everything. Oh, actually, I forgot to mention. So we do get like a brief little. We we don't get too many shots of All Might uh, in here. We get like a few shots of him, uh, you know, in his Silver Age costume, and then we see All Might again. He's walking up with an umbrella and a bag full of meat buns. Uh, he got both from the convenience store because he had just came from the hospital. And everything and it and it, it was really nice and sweet to, to know that all might is still appreciated even though he is not even though he's not actively doing hero work anymore you know all the citizens and like the owner of the convenience store was like when he all might walked in he flipped out he was really fanboying he was like oh my goodness all might thank you you have helped me out so much blah 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 yada 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 take these meat buns take this umbrella they're all free just you know thank you for your service and all that and that's nice i really i do really dig that that all might is still being appreciated even though his true form has been revealed to the public now and that he is now stepping down and you know at this point it's like dude you've been doing hero work for decades dude I mean, yeah it's time for you like if you need if it's time for you to retire you know we understand you know take a breather sit down you know things will probably get a little crazy for a little bit but you know you know new crop of heroes are really promising and everything so yeah i thought that was a really dope moment and then also you know all might gives all my izuku talking he's like you know he's like well you know he's like you're next but then he changed he's like well no let me change that he's like all of you are next up because even though we do know that all my kind of favors izuku a little bit um more than other students he does cherish each and every one of his students and he does see great potential and, I, and we all do too we all know that i feel like each one of the students are going to be great heroes all in their own rights but that's neither here nor there you know and all that but so after that little exchange with izuku and all my we get back to that's when tano walks out and talks to izuku and he's like and he pretty and, he, and they they start fanboying and he's like he's like you're a fan of all my he's like yeah and tano's like i don't know if you remember this incident that happened like 18 years ago at this industrial factory and all that and oh obviously izuku knows this he's he's fanboy he's like fanboy number one like one number one one not 11 but just one one you feel me but you know he's like yeah i remember that he's like all my came in uh and saved all the people and that's when tano reveals he's like well during that whole event uh one of the people that got saved was my dad and you know all my was the one that saved him and he's like that's also the same day that my quirk activated and this is when we find out what tano's quirk is his body his ability is called whole body lens now the <laughs> There are a few quirks I want from this uh, from this series, but whole body lens as a as a content creator and all that that is that is clutch. Because uh, if you know anything about cameras and camera lenses, they they get pricey. The one I'm using, this is by no means the upper echelon of cameras at all. This <laughs> this is like bare minimum camera stuff. And it cost me and the lenses cost too if you want to do youtube or anything like that photography i just go ahead and steal yourself because you're going to be shelling out a little bit for camera lenses and camera bodies and let's not even get into the accessory stuff that you'll probably need depending on exactly which field you want to go into but i'm di i digress so yeah so that was like a really dope moment because it's like you know Charles like yeah he's like all Might saved my dad and I can't thank him enough and also that's when my ability activated and that was the first picture and like it was a picture of All Might holding his dad on his shoulder and all that and Tano is running to him as a child and I guess like the lens popped out of his hand or something and he takes a picture and that picture later gets published in a newspaper article and all that and Every, I think ever since then, that's when Tano decided, like, I'm going to be a journalist, and I'm, you know, I don't, I'm pretty sure he re reports nothing but the truth and all that. But I mean, he's a dope character. He doesn't exist inside the manga. He's just a character that got made up for this filler. But I hope we see him again. He's, he seems really dope. And I'll, actually, I like his eye. I think it's his left, uh, his uh, right eye, where it actually looks like a camera lens. After, because at first I was just like, is that a fake eye or something? But after we found out his ability, um. 
you know, we can, uh, I, I figured it's just a camera lens, so we can just record at all times of the day. And actually, also, I forgot this too. He can also make a Polaroid of anything he takes a picture of. He has like a little slit, like right there in his chest. And, he, and when he takes a picture, he can just print it out, you know, no problem. So after, you know, Tano and uh, Deku have this moment, that's when Tano pretty much comes out and he's like, so you're the successor. Now, obviously, Deku cannot just come straight up and be like, yes, I am the next successor. Tell everybody, because it's still a secret and all that. But Tano reassures him. He's like, look, don't, don't worry. He's like, I'm, he's like, I actually came up, came here under false pretenses. So I apologize to you about that because I came here to actually find the successor. But, you know, he told them, he's like, I'm just here to record your lives and stuff, uh, how you live in the uh, dorms and everything. But he tells Zuki, he's like, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell anyone. He's like, I just wanted to know that there is still hope in the world. He's like, seeing you and seeing how you acted in the past before you got your powers and all that he's like i'm definitely sure that you will be a great uh, symbol of peace when it's finally your time and all that and i thought that was like a really touching moment he's just like you know two fanboys and he's like you know just he's like yeah man he's like all might really is a great hero and they agree on that and after that this is when it kind of gets weird a little bit tano just like yanks Suzuku up and he takes like a picture like like a selfie but you know he can make lenses and stuff so it pops out of his hand and he, and he texts it. And it's in the, Izuku's in a weird position. Kinda kinda yaoi-ish, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's it's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But Tano tells him he's like, oh, he's like, don't worry about this picture. I'm not gonna print it until uh you become number one. And he's like, he doesn't he, he's like pretty much he's like when you become the next symbol of peace. I'm going, I want to write an article about when the new symbol of peace was young. So he's pretty much asking Izuku, he's like, you know, when you when you make it, when you are number one, you know, can I print this article about you? And Izuku's like, yeah. He's like, I'll make sure, I'll do my best to make sure that you can print this article out and put that picture in it. And it's a really dope moment. And after that, Tano pretty much leaves um, without saying a word and. Uh, Actually, while the whole time, uh, not the whole time, but like towards like the tail end of Tano and uh, Deku's conversation, Uaraka uh, was watching. She was on, but she was looking for him because it was dinner time and all that. But that's neither here nor there. I just thought I'd throw that little tidbit um, in there. But yeah, overall, this episode was dope. Now, I told y'all I would be reacting to um, My Hero Academia Season 4 on my Discord and all that. And I do plan on doing that, but I just felt like since this is a filler episode, um, I'm not going to do a reaction. I'm just going to do a, a review slash discussion on it. So episode two, I will be officially um, uh, reacting to it and all that and actually just so y'all know I am caught up with the manga but I did not start catching up with the manga until about two arcs uh, after this two two arcs after this arc that we're going to be currently watching uh, in the manga so I, I know like the big plot points in this arc but I don't know every single last detail or nuance that goes on I know most of the stuff that's gonna go down but I haven't really sat down and read it I'm gonna go back over it at some point but not now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch it so yeah so yeah so don't don't worry I'm not gonna give any spoilers because I mean I can't really give you too many I know I know a few I know a few but those but those are just like super big reveals and all that and everyone was hyped uh, when they when they were uh, dropped in the uh, chapters and everything so yeah that's really all I wanted to say and talk about um if you haven't seen it go watch it like I said normally I do not like fillers in any uh, month it well, not manga um in um in anime but my heroes fillers are really good I really enjoy them they're usually very well uh, done and they they feel organic they don't feel just force fed like here's a recap episode of everything that's happened all up to season three and all that it's like no I don't I don't need this some people might but most of us are really avid fans of this series so most of us don't that's just me personally but guys um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will be reacting to My Hero uh, Academia Season 4. I'm going to try and make an intro for it. I don't know exactly when it, it will be out. I'll try and have it out before Episode 2 airs, but it might not air. I might not have it done until like Episode 3. But, you know, I'm just going to try and make an intro for it because My Hero Academia is like one of my 
favorite uh, series in a long time. It, like One Piece is still there and it always will be. But My Hero is like right there. It is really right there. It's a really good series. But guys, do the stuff that I normally tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications when I drop more videos. Actually, check the notifications because YouTube be tripping and it gets on my nerves. If you want to join the conversation with a whole bunch of other uh, of my subs, you know, join the Discord down below. And if you want to get some dope merch, go to kawaiiwaru.com. Use your boy's code kawaiifox. Um, and get yourself 10% off your purchase. And with all that being said, guys, hope you have a lovely day, night, evening, or whatever time you're watching this video. And it's your boy Fox Plus Ultra.